Well, we're back. Gloomy day in northwestern Ohio. And a new project picked up. Yes, my OCD is kicked in again. And uh, couldn't resist. Bought another snowmobile. Need some work. I didn't pay a lot of money for it. It's a little, it's a 1991 Indy Polaris Indy Light. And it's 340. But uh, you can see the seat needs some work, new cover. That wasn't the major issue. The major issue was the engine. The fellow that had it said that uh, he didn't have much compression on this particular cylinder. He had replaced a piston that had blown a hole in it and he couldn't get much compression out of it. This side was okay. Well, but that was, you know, that's the stock piston on that side. And um, so anyway, I brought it home and I thought I had a 440 engine that I could put on it, but I thought, let me take a look at it. Well, when I took it apart, I pulled the heads off and all the shroud and everything, and the cylinder was here, and there's four studs that hold it down. Well, these two were, sh were twisted off, and these two had no nuts on them whatsoever. So, as a result, you don't get a whole lot of compression with something like that. That jug was just sitting on there with nothing. And um, so anyway, I thought, well, that's cool. I can fix that. So I got some studs and put in it. Uh, bought a gasket kit, and I thought, since I was here, I was going to replace the piston on it. Um, I didn't really care for the look of it that well. Here, I'll get it out. Hopefully it won't be all blurry. But... Um, you can kind of see a little bit of burn on the side of it there. It uh, just didn't uh, look that great. I don't know if that's focusing or not. But anyway, um, so I just picked up an aftermarket piston. And uh, this is going to be uh, one of these projects that uh, I'm going to play with it for a while and I'm going to sell it. I don't need another snowmobile to speak of, especially this one. But there's the two cylinders and the carbs. I cleaned the carbs out and uh, honed the cylinders out. And, uh, you know, the heads, everything looks good. So it's, you know, something else to distract me. It's like I don't have enough other projects. So uh, I got to get something else. But, uh, yeah, then the tie rods that go from here to the center that's what steers it the left side was bent this side was broken and so I got on eBay and found a person that was selling a set of them they're off of uh, um, the Indy light it's a 250 and it's everything's blue on it this is the one that was bent and I took and straightened it and uh, just use that for a spare but I want to paint them red so I couldn't get my paint to work out here today so I thought well I'll just get some and bring it in the house but anyway I pulled the suspension out and it's a mess everything was a mess on this thing it's like I should have never got it and this is the suspension and this is the way I pulled it out and there's a set of bogey wheels like these that go in here they were missing and uh, yeah I guess that's about it but uh, he said he'd put a new shock on it which is good and most of the bearings in the, the wheels are are pretty good this one here is going to get replaced but uh, I'm going to put some new high facts on it and get it ready to go but it's a direct drive setup and that means there is no chain case here with a jack shaft that goes across as you can see it drives straight off of the 
the clutch on the engine to the secondary clutch here and these were popular back in the early 80s is when they first started bringing one out. I had an 81 that had this setup on it. And it worked fair, but it it just, you know, it's not a performance sled by any means. And this is basically a intermediate sled. This is for like kids that are a little bit older. And uh, but anyway, I'm trying to get that clutch off of the drive shaft. The drive shaft is right here and it goes all the way through and that's what drives your track. And there's a bearing down in here that is bad. I, it's really rough. And uh, so I got to get it off but it's welded itself to the shaft. You know it's rusted on so I have doused it yesterday with PV Blaster and again today. I tried a little bit today to move it and it seems like it's moving but it I can get this part back here to move but there's a little stub sticking out of the shaft here on the end of the clutch and that doesn't change so, so something in I think the whole thing is kinda doing this number a bit but anyway we'll just keep playing with PV Blaster and see what happens. The worst comes to worst I can run it the way it is but the point of it is it's like it's here I got everything done. In order to replace that you gotta drop your suspension and you've got to disassemble the other side where this is where your brake goes here. I've got it all disassembled but your rotor goes on this shaft and then your brake apparatus fastens here and anyway that's how that works. But we can get it running. I can get a seat cover for about 75 bucks on eBay. New one. So, you know, we might go that route just to make it a little bit more presentable. But I want to make sure everything works properly on it before I dump money into that. So, I figure bought it for a couple hundred and I'll probably have about 250 put in it by the time I'm done. I hope no more than that. But uh anyway, so maybe 450, 500 at the outmost, and I really don't think it'll be that much. But I was looking on eBay what these things are selling for, and they're going for anywhere from eight, 800 to 1500 dollars. So for a really nice one. And uh, so you know, who knows? I can hopefully maybe turn it, and make a few bucks. But uh, that's where we're at with that. And this one here is the one I was working on, and. Uh, I had a video I think that they put up or whatever, but anyway, I welded that patch in there and just haven't quite ground it all off yet. And uh, anyway, we're going to get back to that soon with, I don't know, I wanted to paint it, but it's like the weather just isn't cooperating, it's too cold. So I think we'll probably just hold off until the spring we get some warmer weather. But uh, that's where we're at in my neck of the woods. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, for all you subscribers that subscribe because I've of the 36 Chevy pickup, it's still there, and it's still there, and it's still back in there, and up there, it's in a hundred pieces everywhere but it's there. So, someday, someday, if I ever get rid of the OCD and I can focus on one thing at a time. Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing for all you people that have subscribed because of the truck. And don't give up on me. It's, it's coming. It's winter and as you saw in my, my YouTube name is Snow King 55 I'm a snow lover, so I like snow. And anyway, my camera just stopped for a minute. I like snowmobiling, and that's why I focus on snowmobiles in the winter. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. See ya.